Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, ETFs. So this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, July 28, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, we are down 2.45% in today. And uh, we were down much more. We did bounce quite nicely. And uh, that is a really good sign, actually. So uh, we could actually uh, write up a trend line here and uh, roughly around this area. You see basically that we bounced off this trend line. And that is a good sign for this market. So in general, the tech market was down significantly. Even Tesla, after its uh, really good earnings, uh, also fell, as you see, roughly 2% today. And that is... Uh, that is really not a good sign for Tesla, to be fairly honest. But um, this has bounced from the trend line, and therefore expectations is kind of that we are going to continue seeing this kind of this uptrend, and we're basically at the bottom of that uptrend. If we break below here, then the 300 moving average will most likely come into play. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, we can see the RSI is flat, CCI is bearish, Stochastic is also bearish, and we have basically bounced off nearly the bottom of the bullish band, trading at 118 at this point. The next um, hurdle here, or the resistance, is 123 and 500 moving average before going back towards 132. So let's look at DVI. So DVI as well fell towards roughly 114 and then ended up at 115.96. We can see that we have broken above the middle of the bullish band. That is a good sign. And we are basically above the 20 exponential moving average. We can see that MACD is bullish. RSI is flat. The CCI is flat. The Stochastic is bullish. And the momentum kind of is at the, it's basically in the uptrend at this current stage. As we can see that we have basically bounced from 150. And since then we have been rallying and haven't really found massive resistance. Um, at this current stage no major pullbacks except for this and then we just continue on so when or not we get rejected at the 50 moving average which is above here that's another question as we really broke down from the 50 the last time but break above the 50 then we could be talking about going back to these previous highs so let's look at vti So VDI has bounced uh, really nicely from the 20 exponential. So it fell quite nastily. We went all the way down to uh, 224 and then we bounced. We are still half a percent down. We could go back towards the 20 exponential uh, tomorrow, but this kind of shows that people were basically buying this right at the Consider as major uh, support, or one of the major support levels, at the, as well as the 50 moving average. So, if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is um, bullish, RSI is flat, CCI is still bullish, and Stochastic is still bullish. And at the moment, a little bit of room to the upside in the RSI. If you drop below the middle of the bullish band, then we could be heading towards 222, which is roughly at the 50 moving average, right around here. So, Let's look at MCHI. Yes, so uh, I have actually been on holiday or a short holiday, and uh, this has really fallen off a cliff. Um, yes, what to say about this? First of all, significantly overstretched here, significantly oversold. Um, at the moment, I don't know if anybody really cares because Chinese are really good at basically destroying their tech companies or their uh, companies that have made, made them really rich and it doesn't really make any sense and the market you know, doesn't um, yeah well the market really cares about what they're doing with regulations and interventions by government and so on uh, because this has fallen just in three trading days roughly roughly 14 percent that is absolutely crazy so just from mid-february to where we are roughly now it has lost 32 percent so well we could expect a bounce as we are so significantly outstretched but getting back towards the middle of the bullish band that is a tall order probably up to 75 that's going to be an area where people will start selling this again so we could see this balance basically stabilizing or rally up towards roughly 75 and then 
expect a continuation of uh, selling as uh, well people are just getting rid of uh, in, uh, Chinese stock. MACD is very uh, bearish. The RSI is very bearish. CGI is really bearish, and so is the stochastic. And everything points to um, momentum to the downside at this current stage. So let's look at uh, IBB. So IBB has also a pullback today. We are down roughly with half a percent. We're much more, and then we basically bounced, and that's a very healthy sign. So. Um, U.S. companies doing really well, especially tech companies are doing extremely well at this current stage, and uh, and the markets are expected to just go higher as um, uh, Federal Reserve, U.S. and the uh, U.S. government are basically flooding the market with capital, cheap liquidity, and stimulus money, and um, well, not stimulus, but basically uh, physical uh, money, and um, they expected just to continue to rally every single. Pullback, minor pullback towards the 20 exponential and the major pullbacks towards the 50 have all been bought into at this current stage. We have not been even close to what we saw last year with this. This is basically the trend and there is no really end in sight as long as policies is at as what it is at the moment. MACD is bullish, RSI is bearish at this point. MACD is bullish and so is the stochastic is also bullish. We are at the top of the bullish band, so we could see a retest of the 20 exponential and break below that. Well, that could open the door to the 40 or the 50 in worst case scenario. And that's down at 427 at this current stage. So, I'll be fine. It's helpful. You're on the support channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.